Uh, hello guys, good morning. So today we are going to discuss about um, uh, some other schedulers also uh, which we have in the Linux operating system. Okay. So in the last videos we have discussed about uh, manual backups, how to take man backups manually and how to take backup automatically by using cron tab. Okay. So today we are going to discuss about what well, I mean few more job schedulers we have. Okay, we can use depends um, according to our uh, no requirements of what we have. So normally the cron jobs, cron tab, I mean cron jobs will be used in server environments where the system um, I mean has to be I mean up and running always. Okay, if system uh, is I mean down, I mean system is shut down, um, this cron uh, cron job will never take a job. I mean I'll never run the scheduler I mean to take backup. So system should be up and running. So this will be uh, comfortable cron will be comfortable only for server environments uh, let's say if you want to check a backup of some uh, local I mean the client dimensions how do you take backup so for that we need anacron okay so this anacron does not demand the servers oh, I mean should be running I mean up and running always okay this anacron uh, command is used to do, uh, execute I mean commands periodically uh, with the uh, with the frequency of uh, how can I say specified days okay I mean and it will never assume that machine is up and running so it will check before executing jobs whether the machine is up and running or not I mean if it is not running when the machine ups uh, I mean came for I mean life by the time it will check depends upon the delay which we provide and other steps that we will, we will discuss in the I mean next uh, upcoming portions I mean sessions okay that is the use of this cron job okay so uh, next thing is actually I mean anacron not cron anacron okay so I'll repeat again anacron is used in server uh, sorry desktop and laptop environments and anacron is used to execute uh, commands periodically with the frequency specified in days like uh, unlike cron it does not assume that a system is up and running continuously so it can be used on the machine which has which is, uh, which are not running 24 hours in a day okay so whenever machine comes up it will run the job that is the I mean speciality of anacron okay so then uh, we'll be are going the next thing is we are going to discuss about uh, the configuration file of this anacron okay as I told you we have uh, all the configuration files present in the C directory okay so go to its directory and type VA anacron tab. Anacron tab is a configuration file of uh, I mean anacron. Okay. So here um, see we can you can see a lot of parameters over here. The path and the environment. These are the environment variables. Okay. Random delay, start hours. Random delay is 45, min 45 minutes. The maximum time delay. See, let's say I have scheduled 10 jobs. How frequent I have to run this job? That is what you have to provide. Ah, um, uh, sorry, uh, not that delay actually. So yeah, that delay. How frequent you have to run the job? So maximal random delay added to the base delay of the jobs. Okay. So and the jobs will be started during the following hours. So I have given 30 to 22. So you can give the consumer requirements. So first thing is how frequent the job has to run in my server, and the next thing is. Uh, when we have to start that is what uh, we have to provide in um, in this configuration file and the next thing is actually uh, we have to give few more things also I'll explain that period in days okay and delay in minutes job identifier and the command you have to provide so what period in days period in days in the sense um, specific uh, here you have to specify uh, the frequency of the execution of a job how frequently you have to execute the job or you have to execute daily or weekly or monthly so there is an example over here daily in the sense one weekly in the sense seven at monthly you can provide like this okay so the spe here you have to specify the frequency of execution of the job and delay in minutes in the sense spe here you have to specify the number of minutes anacron waits if necessary before executing a job Okay, so let's say after system starts up, wait for 25 minutes, or after this job's executed, wait for 25 minutes. Likewise, 
our system yeah best system started so wait for 5 minutes 25 minutes 45 minutes that is what uh, the uh, delay in minutes you have to provide over there okay um, then then the next thing is actually job identifier okay so it identify uh, sorry here you have to specify the name of the job uh, i mean which is used in log file so the exact the name of the job you have to provide here okay which job that is going to run okay then the command you have to provide so these are the four things you have to provide uh, when you are running anacron jobs here in uh, i mean linux operating system okay so uh, if you give everything perfect in this log file definitely cron jobs is i mean cron is going to work okay so and um, as i'm telling you again this cron anacron does not i mean demand the i mean the laptops or the machines are been running always 24 by 7 to run this jobs whenever the machines starts it will run the job okay so it's a, a very useful one and um, laptops and just uh, desktops uh, part okay cron you can use in um, server environments uh, that's the use of this and the next thing is we have one more thing also that is called this uh, AT. Uh, AT is nothing but um, that is also a scheduler but you can schedule time for the particular time period let's say I want to run a particular task at 5 o'clock okay, but you want to leave at 4 o'clock in that case you can schedule in AT okay AT, AT is a, a scheduler job scheduler okay it's a one time job scheduler okay so you can schedule the jobs in AT and you can leave so the jobs will be I mean will be running at this I mean schedule the time there is a use of um, in AT I'll just tell you so if you want to install AT just a simple command uh, let me clear the screen okay so um, m install AT m install AT is a command to uh, run AT and if you want to start the service uh, system ctl system ctl start atd dot service okay or atd you can provide see it started yes in my computer everything is installed if you want to see the status of that status system ctl status atd service see it's up and running okay so then um, if you want to schedule the jobs let's say at i want to run that particular job at uh, 3 o'clock let's say 15 0, 0, 0, and give the job name okay so this will be running see at 15 0, 0, 0. i want to run the particular job at uh, 3 o'clock so first of all that i have to create a folder let's say mkdir i have to create a folder called as test uh, mkdir yeah test then after that um, after creating a folder, I'll just it, they give tar c v z f uh, z v z f. Take a backup of uh, some other directory, etc directory. Okay, so place it in a opt etc dot t g z slash etc. I'm giving a job like this. See, now it's done. Yeah, now the job. Is, um, now the job is done. Okay, now if you want to check the things, actually give ATQ. ATQ is a command to check uh, the scheduled jobs. Okay, see, I have scheduled a job today. Okay, so if you want to delete ATR, ATR, um, there is a command, a job number you have to provide. ATRM6. See, it's now if you give ATQ you will never see any jobs right so job is deleted okay so uh, this is about ATQ uh, AT guys so in the last two videos we have discussed about cron and a cron and AT these are the three job schedulers we have depends our requirement okay so guys I hope you like the video if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and enable or click the bell icon too and follow my videos to your friends relatives and the peoples and keep supporting me okay thanks for watching my video thank you